Hey folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is, we're talking tonight about Photoshop Elements 2020 Organizer and how to build albums. So I have my handy dandy Sony A6000. This is my uh, camera of choice these days. And uh, we've done a lot of videos on this in the past and this is basically just a really light uh, SLR camera. Um, or DSLR, let me think, I don't know, but there's no mirror in these things, so I don't know really what they call them these days. We're going to call it a DSLR, though, so just for uh, simplistic reasons. Now, to put photos in your organizer, you can by all means hook your camera up. You know, you can uh, open the one side up here, and you can uh, use the ports, and you can open the camera and plug this in to your uh, computer. I like to use a card reader. So we're going to open the camera up, Pop the card out. So here is the memory card. And I'm going to go ahead and put this into the computer itself. I happen to have an iMac. Now, if you don't have an iMac, you can always use a card reader. Let's go ahead and I'm going to put this in the computer. All right. And let me get situated here now. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go over to the computer here. All right, so you can see here I have my organizer ready to go. And what I'm going to do is we're going to import those photos. But first, what I want to do is I'm going to click the little plus sign here and do new album category. And we're going to just type in here holidays. Because this happens to be holiday pictures, you can put a parent comp or a parent category if you want. Um, but we are not. We're just going to click OK. Well, we already have a one called holidays. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're going to call this. We're going to make this. Uh, well, let's close this. As you see, I already have one called holidays. So what we're going to do instead is click on that, right click, and say create a new album. And the new album is going to be called um, Pittsburgh Lights. All right, click OK. And now you can see over here on the left, under Holidays, we have Pittsburgh Lights. Now, so if you have to build your category first, do new album category. But since we already had that, we are good to go. What we're going to do now, though, is we're going to import the pictures into our um, software. So if you go under File and Import from uh, Camera or Card Reader, we should be able to get this thing to come up here. And here is the Camera or Card Reader. Uh, let me see here which one we are looking at. Uh, I don't think, I think it both are about the same. Um, now we're going to choose where do we want these pictures to go to. We're going to open up advanced dialog. And I like the advanced dialog. Let me move this up here for you. One, we can see all the pictures that we're going to be importing. And two, it just gives us more options. So that is the advanced. This is what the standard dialog looks like. And this is the advanced dialog. So we are going to be using the advanced dialog. So we're going to import them into pictures. And we're going to choose where we want those to go. So here's pictures. And what we're going to do here is create a new folder called Pittsburgh Lights. All right. Click Open. Now, it says, do you want to create subfolders? I would not recommend to create subfolders. We're just going to put them right in that folder called Pittsburgh Lights. Do you want to rename your files? You can rename them based on what you're taking. Uh, you can give them a custom name, but we're not going to do any of that. Automatically fix red eyes. We do not have to fix red eyes on this. So click uh, no. We don't have to fix red eyes. 
Suggest photo stacks. Don't have to do that. Automatically stacked raw or J pictures. Um, they're all, I know these are all shot in raw. Import in the album. Okay, so this is the album that we created before. Click on settings. And there's the album that we created before called Pittsburgh Lights. After copy and verify and delete originals, I do not like to delete originals. So after copying, do not delete originals. That's what I like. Uh, the creator, you can put your name in there. Now we'll put Jack in there. Copyright, put your name in there again. And then we're going to click on Get Media. At this point, it's going to copy all those files over, all those photos, into our organizer, into that album. So everything in one step. Because we created that album to begin with, it just makes it a lot easier. So we let this go here. I took a lot of pictures there. 96. The beer tonight is Nut Roll L. Uh, if you've never had it, look it up. It's a very good beer. It's from the uh, Pennsylvania Brewing Company. Very, very good beer. So we will get these pictures to come in here. It just takes a few uh, few minutes, depending on how many you have, how fast your memory card reader, how fast your computer is. Uh, like I said, I'm doing this on my iMac, but it works exactly the same in Windows. Now it'll analyze the media for us. Some of them, it came out really nice. I was uh, really shocked when I was taking some of these. You know, you look at the little screen in the back, you're like, is that a good picture? And uh, really, they came out really, really nice uh, as we were downtown in Pittsburgh. And again, I shot all these in camera raw. Um, you don't have to. I recommend if you're doing any uh, event photography, if you're doing weddings, if you're doing uh, senior pictures like I do now, if you're doing um, engagement pictures, I also do those now. I don't do weddings anymore. I kind of uh, got away from the weddings altogether. But I always shoot those in RAW. So my camera was in RAW, which is okay. But if I'm taking a lot of photos like vocation, uh, vocation, vacation pictures, a lot of times I just shoot those in JPEG. Let the camera do the compression of the color. Uh, modern day cameras are very, very good for that. So we don't have to deal with that a whole lot. But uh, I am really impressed with the modern day cameras. So... And it's just analyzing those photos and getting them into the organizer. And we would just give it a few more seconds here. These are suggesting stacks. I'm not going to stack anything right now. We're just going to close it. And there is our, oops, all of our great pictures from the night that we were out shooting these photos and uh, had a lot of good times with them there. And as we can see at this point, if I go to Christmas 2016, now if I go back to Pittsburgh Lights, there they are. They're all in the album, just as we would uh, think they should be. If you double-click them, you can uh, scroll through your pictures and uh, look at you know each picture individually. Being these are camera raw, it takes a little bit more time to load up because the file size is a little bigger. And there you go. And I'm sure we'll look at editing these photos uh, down the road some more. Uh, we'll edit some of these pictures up and play around with these a little bit. So go back to grid view right at the top. And there you are. So folks, that is how easy it is to create an album in Photoshop Elements 2020. Or if you have another Photoshop or another uh, Photoshop Elements version, it is just as easy to import these photos. I would personally recommend the card reader. I believe it's faster uh, than the USB port on the camera. 
and also most cameras you have to turn on so you're you're depleting your battery power also so it's easier to use a card reader and import your photos into photoshop elements 2020. folks thank you so much for watching this video and this episode of jack's tech corner and if you're not subscribed please click the subscribe button at the bottom i would love to uh, hear you in the comments and um, i know it's been a long time since we've been doing photoshop elements video but i am back and uh, that's what matters after taking a little bit of a hiatus. Um, we are back creating videos for you uh, so you can learn how to get the most out of your Photoshop Elements 2020. Thanks, and I will talk to you next time. Take care, keep clicking, and I'll see you back here later. Bye-bye for now.